ponderosa pine, Pinus ponderosa, is the most common pine tree in California. It covers the entire northwest as a dominant tree. Right here in San Diego, a ponderosa pine we have here as a rare tree. It's not that common in San Diego. The dominant tree in the pine group is the Jeffrey pine. But right here is a ponderosa. How do you tell the difference? They look pretty much the same. There's a couple of ways of telling the difference. One is by biochemistry, not real handy when you're walking in the forest. Another way is by its smell, not totally reliable. But one of the best ways is to look not into the tree, but look at the base of the tree. Look down and find a cone. And if the cone is less than five inches, it's a ponderosa. If it's more than five inches, it's a Jeffrey. So this is a ponderosa with a pine cone less than five inches. And not only that, it's prickly. So prickly ponderosa, it'll hurt when you pick it up. And Jeffrey is gentle. It won't hurt when you pick it up. Let's go over and look at a Jeffrey pine Easy to find. Most of the trees in here are Jeffreys. More than 80% of the pines in the San Diego mountains are Jeffrey pines. A few sugar pines, a few coulter pines, an occasional ponderosa pine. Those are the pines in this area. Jeffrey pine used to be uh, considered a ponderosa, a variety of ponderosa pine. The Jeffrey pine lives where it's higher and drier than the ponderosa in general. You can find both of those trees side by side in lots of areas. In California, most of northern California mountainous areas are covered with ponderosa pine. The ponderosas continue down the western side of the Sierra and then here and there as they get into southern California mountainous regions. The Jeffrey pine common on the eastern side, the drier sides of the Sierras, and they come down into the south and a little bit into Baja to a place called San Pedro Martir, you can find the last remnants of the Jeffrey Pine. Here in San Diego, you might find that tree that we talked about earlier just might be one of the most southerly of all the Ponderosas. But the Jeffrey Pine is in some ways easy to tell the difference between it and Ponderosa, maybe. The Jeffrey pine has a wonderful smell. Go over and smell, especially after a rain, go over and smell in the crevices of the bark, and you have a sweet smell. You ask a person what they smell, you get various answers, but they're all on the positive side. Vanilla, butterscotch, nutmeg, all of those odors are what people think when they smell the Jeffrey. Ponderosa, no smell. The differences in the two pines, the Jeffrey and the Ponderosa, was discovered inadvertently. Most of the pines have terpenes, uh, a resin within that's used to manufacture turpentine. And so turpentine was being manufactured in areas with ponderosas. Every now and then, a Jeffrey would get mixed in with the ponderosa, and the vats that they were producing the turpentine from would blow up. Later on, the chemist discovered in the Jeffrey pine tissue is heptanes, which is close to octane. In other words, it's a gasoline tree. It's got gasoline-like components within the Jeffrey pine. And it caused explosions in the area. So folks began to be a little more definitive in what they were finding to put into their vats to make turpentine. So at this point in time, they're considered separate species, even though they started out to be both ponderosas. Fires going through the area, fires opening the cones, fires opening up the area for sunshine, adding nutrients to the soil. Important part of the life cycle of the Jeffrey pine in this area. 
The last fire in this area was quite devastating. It was so hot that rather than helping the cycle along, it might have hindered because many of the trees and the seeds uh, were burned. The forests will come back, but with that hot fire, not so fast. So the Jeffrey and most pines, fire is an important part of their uh, life cycle. I don't know if this is reality, but remember the biochemistry of the Jeffrey is a gasoline-like substance. Maybe when the fires come through, they burn hotter. That's just speculation, but it makes sense to me. Ponderosa and the Jeffrey are in the yellow pine group. The yellow pine group has long needles in threes. The bundle is three. And they get nine or so inches long, both trees. The seeds are gone in these cones, but between these scales, that's where the seeds would be. And the dispersers of these seeds are mostly the big birds, the jays and corvids, and uh, squirrels and chipmunks. The ponderosa cone, smaller and prickly. The Jeffrey cone, larger and gentle. Two pines here in the mountains of San Diego. One's a Jeffrey, one's a ponderosa.